When I was younger, it was really frustrating just because I didn't understand what it was. It is a heartbreaking journey that many Western New York siblings have and continue to take, watching a sister or brother struggle with an opioid addiction. What was the hardest part for him? Probably his mind, all the dark places that he could go to when he didn't want to. Stephanie Fitzpatrick has been down that dark path. Her brother Colton fought a 10-year battle with addiction. And I tried to spend as much time with him as I could because I know this could go badly. It came to a sad end when medical complications related to the addiction took Colton's life on his 23rd birthday in June 2016. It was like losing a best friend and um, it's just really, it's really difficult. Colton's mother, Becky Barnell, said one of the most frustrating things during the family's ordeal was finding information. It's not fair that my daughters had to watch their brother begging for his life be turned away. It's not fair. It's not fair. The mother-daughter team have now dedicated themselves to helping others and raised the conversation about addiction. Stephanie works with Addict to Addict and Family to Family. And Becky founded Colton's Journey to Liberation with a goal now of creating a community resource center and website where other families can get information on all aspects of dealing with addiction. When we come in, do we need to move all the tables where we need them? To mark two years since Colton's death, the family is organizing a special event in conjunction with Kiwanis International. The goal is to raise funds and provide other families with information about addiction treatment, support, and holistic strategies of dealing with conditions that can lead to addiction, such as anxiety and depression. You really need to talk about these things. You cannot keep them in. It will destroy you inside. It will destroy families. The second annual Colton's Cause Memorial Benefit will be held here at the Hamburg Fairgrounds on Saturday from 4 to 8 p.m. In Hamburg, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.